a lost and find End of the game and over time Drawing of a new design Drilling that one earth of mind Looking to the outward Speaking mind about words Absurd, blurred to the curb Walking along the verb But I realize this is all I know Hey, everybody, what is happening? East Jilla East bringing you some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team content. As you see, we're going to have a lineup update, gameplay. We've got the new Randall Cunningham. I did go the limited there. You can see his passing stats on that one. Pretty good around. I ended up selling the um, Brett Favre for him. I'm just not a huge fan of that card. I had a lot of issues. The low trajectory, I think, caused a lot of problems with that. Hitting linemen and you know, D-linemen all the time and just never getting balls over the top. But we'll see how uh, he does with that. we got Frank Gore as the running back. I'm, I got it kind of at the bottom here because I got my uh, you know styles mixed up. Trying to get the boost on there. He's not, so he's, that means he's not going to have the battle ready, which everybody likes. Eh, whatever for me. Um, and see the receivers up there. Randy Moss and Matthews is the fifth. Uh, so those guys are about the same as the receiving core that you've seen out there. I did... Pick up Jimmy Graham out here. Um, even though lately I haven't been using the tight end a lot, the, the card always plays great every year. We'll see how this one goes. Uh, I did, and I did pick up a couple linemen here to kind of boost up the overall ratings. Um, and and we do have one identifier. I'll tell you what, honestly, guys, I don't like identifier being in the game. I think it really takes the advantage of user in a way. I know some people like it because it, they like to know where the user is, but to me, it's like all these little things in the game kind of cheapen the game. They cheapen the sim game for me. They're making it all this arcadey crap in there. I just don't like that stuff, but uh, that's just my own thing. Um, in the middle here on the D-line, we're getting all the big bodies out there. We, you know, uh, with uh, Darius, Casey, Jones, we got Ramsey testing out just to see how he does. The rest of the corners will be the same. Still have Vernon out here with the block shed, you know, helping out. I don't know. I might sell him. Um, you know, I'm going to be looking at selling a lot of these guys after this week here. I'll be selling them before the week ends, actually. But uh, the gameplay this week will be of this squad, though. I'm going to try and get ahead of the team of the year, guys coming out and more content coming out what's going to really devalue your teams and as you see here I need to get back over that million mark I mean that's real low Cam Chancellor playing great uh, a lot of these guys on the back end playing really good but there's the updates that we have um, and so that said let's just uh, take this to the field and we will see who we get matched up with today and we'll see how these guys play out here and it looks like the opponent is going to be uh, Crayola Kills here and that's going to be our squad, and okay, we got very similar at least, I mean, I mean the uh, no shock for anyone running Antonio and, and Jadavia, and they were, they didn't cost very much, just a little bit of effort, and that was it, and we all got those, uh, and because of all the chemistries, we stick with them, and then Antonio Brown they put out today ain't even better, so here's Gore right out of the gates, Ooh, and it kinda, I didn't get a lot of yards, but that was kind of nice, the agility cutting back and all that, so um, go out, just just throw into him. Don't really get anything going. I'm just trying to get a couple touches on the guy real quick. Third and five. See if we can go out. We just we, we want to at least move the chains. We can't be uh, punting on the first three and out here. So we get that again here. Just run off the edge. But uh, right, we run where Clowney's at. Man, they don't care whose team he's on. He's got. He's. You know, I, I've always noticed left tackles in this game always struggle. Every year, left tackles struggle. Struggle. Excuse me. With good uh, ends or or guys. You know, even linebackers out there who blitz in. We got nice. Uh, we'd motion him out, streak him up there. I uh, won't be able to pull that one too many times, but you know we'll get that one there. There we go. Uh, just a quick little out to Jimmy, just to keep that. So uh, pretty good on the first one. He's got pressure coming, a lot of heat coming, and we do get Brandon Cooks up there. And that's the thing is I switch guys later. I'm, I got to figure out what to do with some of those players. I have a hard time get, getting rid of the motivators, you know, just because those little plus two bonuses for the kitchen traffic on one end and the block shed. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to have to figure out some of that stuff and then go from there. We're chasing home. Boy, you're going to just launch that one out there, throw that one away. Uh, Kirk Cousins uh, doing, doing his thing. And, and uh, you know, the thing is with this game, the fact is you can win with lesser players. I mean, I'm not saying bums, but you don't need top end players to play this game and beat this game. It's just how it kind of is. So I'm just trying to figure out who makes a difference, who doesn't. Uh, he's got Tevin Coleman out here, who's he's a great uh, budget running back, breaks tackle. Look at him trucking over Erlacher, uh, just like nothing, like nothing. Uh, swinging this one out, so doing a good job trying to keep me from bringing pressure uh, early in the game. 
And that's a great way to counter it, hitting the flats real quick, making me have to get in. And unfortunately, uh, it was that clowning coverage. He ain't going to make that play, jumping across the line. And we come across and make a bad read. I had, again, the guy's right there. Bang, bang, he holds on to the ball, though. So good drive. Both of us go down here on the first drive pretty pretty well. Not a lot of resistance, I'd say. We both did pretty good on that. And come out, and oh, how many times are we going to beat people on that one, man? Uh, that's very nice. Uh, come across, that's coming from the outside, swooping across. But those angles really mess people up. So many people will dive for tackles and, and, those, and, and give you touchdowns when you come. Basically, when you're coming... Um, you know, uh, horizontal across the field like that, you know, it's just what it is. And we're going to go out finally getting to get a sack on second and one, but you can come out, run the ball, get a few of these yards out here back on a fourth and two. I, yeah, I didn't really guess that. We had a good play on, on the DT, but uh, he gets an extra yard. Oh, <laughs> we came right up the gap on him, and uh, he gets a block on the running back, but dang, I'll tell you what, we got a blitz that, that will come in on occasion from the A gap and it's right up the middle. I mean it's not a D line, nothing you know, again, I don't do crazy stuff. And this year you can't do that anyway. But um it's got linebacker, the linebackers shooting right down the middle when it when it comes in, that is. You know what I mean? There's always like in everything in this uh game, blitzes are gonna be dependent on your formations. People don't think that a lot, but a lot of times the formation, the same for, you know, a formation still blocking a running back, for example, on the right without even sliding. Some formation bases that don't, you know what I mean, um, like having the two backs in there with a the tight end running back, sort of split backs, any of those. Those will sometimes will block better than anything else, even though you're not doing anything different. Still five guys up front and a running back. So again, this guy's coming down, trying to get the run, and oh, he's going to fumble it, and... Yeah, he's going to recover that one. So uh, he put a good drive down and doinks that one off the crossbar. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> that's going hap to happen sometimes. Uh, to me, there's no excuse not to have Boswell. We're going to come out here and make a blind read. Here we go. Now, obviously, I went to that one one too many times. But it was more so... I mean, he was covered. He was user on the guy, but it wasn't a user thing. He was covered. It was just forcing a ball, thinking I can get it over the top. And, dude, comes around and a huge hole in the middle. I was blitzing off the edges to stop an outside run. Uh, he's going to try for the two-point conversion to make it a uh, seven-point lead. Going to stop him on that. That time, the this, this swing gets shut down, shut down. Probably his fault for throwing that a little early. We had a wide-open receiver. I just didn't get rid of it in time. Just, just a second longer. We had a big gain. We'll come back around there, though. We're still kind of hitting the outside side guy coming in so we do at least have that he didn't shut that one down we got gore coming out here not gonna have he's got good acceleration not exactly feeling like a breakaway on that but we do come out and hit the big play one of the uh, last plays we put out in the uh, playbook videos uh that one's really really nice uh, again they have to use her out there in a cover two situation to make that one stop and some guys will some guys are good enough to do that you know they'll recognize it again um we got ed too tall on the edge who's just so dominant and speaking again of playbooks, you know, I kind of brought this up once before. Um, I'm getting kind of burnt out on the Texans here. I'm just thinking about doing one more book for for the year, um, and 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 I'm just thinking about maybe doing a Homer book. As oh my God, he gets the reroute, a reroute, and an excellent block downfield from McCaffrey, who sprung him. Crazy touchdown. I couldn't believe he got that. He's going to come around there. We was waiting for the quarterback that time to run it. Uh, he throws that away. So, again, going for the two. So, chasing points. We both chased points on that, and it you know backfires. So, we would have had two of those points had he not kicked those, and he'd still be up by seven. So, that's what it is. You know, you really got to gauge when it's worth doing that. We're going to try and launch one up, and whoa, Randy Moss coming up and, and, and actually hauling that one in. Kind of giving me a nice little break. I'll take that. Yo, it ain't, you know, hey, this, this is my thing in here. Batteries control, low, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. So we got to get Gore again. Give it a little bit of work. And see, that's what you want to see, that fighting, keeping on going, the high motor and the, uh, you know, fights for extra yards sort of traits. You want to see those in effect. Going to come out here. He got a little bit of pressure on one side. We'll get the quick check down over on the other. But that's what they're giving. I got to take that. And that's... You know me, one of the things I'm normally bad at. Over the top of the user with Randy Moss again and uh, and actually holding that one. So surprisingly, he will on occasion get, you know, hold on to those, uh, you know, hit sticks after catching the ball. I do have him boosted up to 93 catching traffic, but that's that. So here we go. 20 seconds left. We get the edge after he ran the field goal block. Uh, do defense to stop. And we go again. We do get the two pointer this time. Going up by three. 18 seconds left. See if Mr. Crayola Kills can uh, come out here and at least get himself a field goal. Tie this. Put it into overtime if possible. He's got at least a timeout to work. A few timeouts to work with here. Gonna chuck this one up. And he tried to swerve me. 
He tried to swerve glitch right there, didn't he? Is that is that is that what you do? Is that what we do? I saw that in the first half, um, you know, and it didn't really work very well. But that was that. Thanks for checking this out, guys. We'll have uh, more this week of this lineup. Peace. So I pull my soul right in the middle of the song With these pages written in love and I still feel like something's wrong I spent the last few months wrong without your touch And yet I thirst for something more but I can't figure out what So I try to fly but these limbs aren't strong enough to lift me So I strut down this road with this pen and a bottle of whiskey Searching for that perfect place where everything makes sense Instead of this hell I'm in that lingers with the stench Of chaos and self-absorbed issues Now I know that you're crying but I'm afraid to give you this issue Knowing that your tears couldn't wash my fears Away, but then I'll be yeah. right back in arms hoping for an embrace yeah. But I know your grace I probably won't ever get So I remain silent with my love as I split Into a new place without your face But it makes me sick to try to dwell those memories of you Just yeah. so I can forget on. that you The best thing that I've ever had The perfect person in my life that I crushed so bad Yeah, you The essence of morning glory The sun on a cloudy day When the sky started pouring Yeah, you that cure to my sickness, the antidote that saved my life.